Hey guys, wanted to show you how to paste samples on top of live drums to get that real modern fat sound. We developed this technique working on the Maroon 5 Hands All Over record that you see me with here. So check it out. The first thing that we're gonna do is duplicate the playlist of our real kick drum here so we can go back to how it normally is. Then we'll triple click to select the whole thing. Then we will hit Shift Option 3 to consolidate it. Okay, now we're gonna open Beat Detective, which is Command 8. And we are going to click, click Clip Separation. 16th note will usually work unless you have really fast drum parts. And then you're gonna hit Capture Selection and Analyze. That'll take a second, depending on the speed of your computer. And then we're gonna adjust our sensitivity while sort of zoomed in here to make sure we're getting all the kicks. So if this is too low, we're not getting these kicks up here. And if it's too high, we might be getting this bleed, which is what tab to transient might hit. And that's why we do this technique instead of using tab to transient. So we're gonna adjust this. So it's just the kicks and no bleed. That looks about right. Oh, there we go, perfect. Now we will separate and let's import our kick samples. Shift Command I, got these samples prepared. Always hit copy instead of add so that the samples stay with your project instead of on some random drive. Grab these into a new track, get rid of Beat Detective, go to the beginning of our session so we can see these, make a group out of our kick samples. You hit Command G and label it. Then we're gonna make these all the same length so that we don't accidentally tab to the end of this region while we're trying to paste. So we'll triple click here and we'll hit Option Apple G just to make a big region group. Bring these kick samples up to above our kick drum and then we'll hit Apple X to cut. We'll go before our first kick drum here, go into slip, click before the kick, hit tab, then hit Shift to stay selected on that and hit P to go up to our kick tracks. Then we'll hit V to paste and then we will hit tab to go to the next one and repeat. All those keys will only work if this A to Z keys is on right there. So that's it, you just go through the whole song, tab V, tab V, tab V. And occasionally you miss one here, we should have adjusted the sensitivity better, but you can copy one and then click before it, hit tab. You actually turn on tab to transient temporarily and then you hit tab and then shift P and then you can paste it in. And then you just keep working. So the next thing you're gonna need to do after you paste the drum samples over your entire song is to blend them in. This I think works best if you have a little controller. Let's set up a little loop that we can listen to and then we'll flip over to our mix window. I'm going to bring these kicks down Turn the group off so I can hear them individually. And then we'll play and listen to the samples. And then once you hear them, you can sort of start getting a blend of what you think might work for the song. That's how you do it. Same process goes for the snare. Let me know if you guys have any questions and if there's something else you guys would like to learn how to do, shoot it to me in the comments. I'll try to make another video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share this.